Welcome to the side of Artemis. I have the AC door uh, taped up as best as I can right now. It's not really a catch to hold it up, which I thought was weird, but I mean, I guess it doesn't get serviced very often, so. Here's my Coleman uh, basement air unit. <clears throat> the AC part of it hasn't been working. I've only been using it as a overhead fan. And then I have a small room air conditioner that I've actually been using to cool uh, the RV with. <laughs> there we go. There's the nickel bus. Probably. <laughs> One for Redford each. We are Audrey, Stephen, and Bella, our charismatic Doberman. We're living full time in a vintage Winnebago we named Artemis. It's been eight months of non stop adventure, and we haven't even begun to travel. We've tackled many repairs, many updates, many projects, and many challenges. Stephen just sold his car, and we paid off our debt on the RV. Stay tuned as we finally wrap up the huge roof project, attempt more DIY, and continue to downsize my business. As we continue working towards the goal of avoiding another Minnesota winter, we'll continue to document the journey. Here's all the circuit board. I can see that I have an updated circuit board, obviously, on here. I didn't know that. Um, I was looking at these capacitors down here, too, and those look pretty good. I don't see any swelling or bulging or anywhere that those are popped. You can see I have all the incoming power disconnected there's a plug-in from the board that comes from the thermostat that's uh down here um and then i have all of that kind of capped off in there you can see and then i have the uh circuit tripped too so uh those aren't actually live but uh just in case we're not going to touch those i have a friend coming tomorrow and we're actually going to pull this out of here you're not going to believe this guys um but one <laughs> Someone had this janky extension cord shoved into this hole. It was like when I opened this up, this was just shoved in there. And I think at one point, someone was just connecting this into here. Or they had tried to connect this into here and was using it to just straight plug it in to maybe run the AC without plugging the rest of the coach in. I don't know how that would have worked though, because you'd have to disconnect um, the line in power so you're not backfeeding power back to the system. I don't know why... That extension cord was in there i also don't know why anyone would ever think to use that um this thing is actually in there really simply um you can see there's a rail here that runs the whole length underneath um there's a bolt right here uh that you can see uh, and then there's a bolt that's just on the other side of, in there uh and then basically you loosen those bolts and this bar just kind of drops and then you just take a crowbar and you slide it underneath here uh, this I had already taken out, but basically this was up here, like so, and it had three bolts in it. So this thing was literally only held in by its electrical connection and three bolts. Good morning. So a beautiful August morning. It's overcast and the heat is on inside. I got my good friend here, Tom Dillstrom. I'm here, Tom Dillstrom. It's good to be here. <laughs> Tom, this is what we're working on today. This is what I'm going to electrocute you with. Yeah. Um, honestly, this is um, incredibly easy to pull out. Today I did the other day, and I have the breaker off, but I'm also going to unplug this before we even really get started on this. Makes sense. But basically, it would slide out if it wasn't for these hinges right here. But they have two bolts on each side, and you just loosen these bolts, and it drops it down enough to pull it out. Okay. And basically, I'm just going to need help with the weight because it's a... Uh, Yeah. <laughs> the video that you were in was like one of the first videos that got us a lot of traction. Good. I'm, sure, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because of the fact that there's a lot of people who own RVs that don't like those fucking oh, ones I that know. are built in. No, I know. And then, you know, working at well, not only don't like them, but like, dude, ours almost burnt us to the ground. Yeah. I was looking at replacing it, dude. Oh my god. Yeah. It was. It's gonna cost me at least fifteen hundred bucks. To do either another replacement like that or to just buy a uh a 12 volt electric fridge already yeah yeah 
basically as soon as we clear this guy, mm -hmm. we're, which we're, just made it a lot easier. Yeah, we're <laughs> real, we're real close. Just, yeah. No one's done it. <laughs> there we go. There's the initial busting. Hey, want to help us out? Subscribe to our channel. It's totally free, and it would really bring us joy. Then click the bell notification so you know when we have a new video up. Thanks. Still got a little bit of room there. We need to fix. Yeah. The problem is, is it's like the bolt all rusted. Oh, I, I can tell by the, how hard you're cranking it. So. Yeah, I've been noticing the do rag look or whatever. Or, uh, I keep telling old, Audrey, I'll cut, it when I, I'll cut it when we get monetized. Take <laughs> <laughs> me underneath. But, uh, yeah, dude, it was uh, one of those ones where I, like, I just popped the uh, contact out real quick. Yeah. And then just doused it water in my eye. That's what I love about having contacts is you get an extra, like, quarter second of protection. Right. How many times my eyes have been, sa have been saved just by having... I mean, it's also a double-edged sword if you get a hard enough impact. Yeah. I have hard contact, so... Look how easy this is. Dude! <laughs> Nice. I, I was in literal disbelief the other day. I, I, you know what? Because this is probably one of the few large items that they can't build around. You know right, I mean? right. So it has to be able to slide in. Well, and for servicing too, because they have to be able to come out to, to be recharged. Because there's no way to recharge them in. Oh, I see. We're hung up on this slip over here. So just got that. Let's just get it in the garage for now. It's gonna be heavy. We're free. <laughs> Care about you? Yeah, watch yourself yeah. over here. Yep. This is this is our feed and this is our intake, and that's it. Yeah. So here's our hole. Oh, there's this hole. Which is the intake for the Coleman AC. There's this dirty, dirty hole. Yeah. Well, no, excuse me, let's strike that reverse. So this top is, is, the is this the exhaust, so that's what's blowing overhead. And that's what's sucking from under the couch. So it pulls in fresh air from under the couch, allegedly. And then <laughs> cools it, it needs, down and pushes it through. And this it was needs a, a really good cleaning. This was a 50 amp unit, so it had two 120 lines going into it that was powering it. It needed 50 amps in order to run it full blast. And... Uh, what we're going to be doing is going to be running um, at, a, at a fraction of that. But right now, I got to tape up all of this until the new unit gets here. You want just a piece of cardboard or something? That would probably work and better for this. That. Okay, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, my brother happens to be uh, an HVAC engineer. It's literally what he does for a living. So I'm kind of going to get the benefit and pick his brain a little bit while I'm building this. We haven't had ants this year at all, have we? We haven't had any bugs like that. They can't that. get in over the tires. The only insects have just been what's flown through the door. Hey Bella. Wanna help us out? Wanna help us out? 